Did you know that vocabulary accounts for 25% of your total score in IELTS writing and speaking sections? Yes, that's right. This nugget of information underscores the pivotal role vocabulary plays in the IELTS exam. It's not just about knowing a bunch of words, but understanding their usage, nuances, and contexts. A broad and sophisticated vocabulary can make the difference between a good score and a great one. So, there's no question about it. If you want to ace the IELTS, you need to master your vocabulary. Now, one way to expand your vocabulary is by learning about word families. So, what exactly are word families? Well, a word family is a group of words that share a common base or root. For example, happy, unhappiness, happily, and unhappy all belong to the same word family. They all share the same root word, happy, but have different prefixes or suffixes attached to it. The beauty of word families is that by knowing one root word, you can understand other related words. Let's take the root word happy. If you know that un typically makes a word negative, you can guess that unhappy means not happy. Similarly, happily is an adverb form of happy, and unhappiness is the state of being unhappy. You see, understanding word families can help you predict the meaning of new words, thus expanding your vocabulary. Another crucial aspect of vocabulary that can boost your IELTS score is collocations. Now you might be asking, what exactly are collocations? Well, collocations are groups of words that often go together naturally in a language. For example, in English, we say, make a mistake, not do a mistake. We do homework, not make homework. And we take a shower, not have a shower. These combinations might seem arbitrary, but they're rooted in the way native speakers use the language. Knowing common collocations can significantly improve your fluency and coherence in both speaking and writing. It's not just about knowing a lot of words, it's about knowing how to use them together. When you use words in their common combinations, your language flows more naturally and is easier to understand. By mastering collocations, not only do you sound more natural, but you also enhance your chances of getting a higher score in IELTS. So, how can you improve your understanding of word families and collocations? Well, there are several methods that can help you get the hang of these essential IELTS vocabulary components. One of them is the use of flashcards. By writing down a root word on one side of a flashcard and its word family on the other, you can easily practice and memorize them. Flip through these flashcards regularly, and you'll find yourself recognizing word families with ease. Next, try online quizzes. The internet is a treasure trove of resources where you can test your knowledge on word families and collocations. These quizzes not only make learning fun, but they also provide instant feedback, helping you understand your areas of improvement. Reading widely is another effective method. Diverse reading materials, from novels to newspapers, from scientific journals to blogs, expose you to a plethora of word families and collocations. As you read, make it a habit to note down unfamiliar words and their contexts. This will enhance your vocabulary and comprehension skills. Lastly, incorporate word families and collocations in your daily conversations and writings. This practical application will help you grasp their correct usage and connotations, making your language more natural and fluent. Remember, the key to acing the IELTS is not just knowing a lot of words, but knowing how to use them effectively. So, practice these word families and collocations every day to improve your vocabulary and boost your IELTS score.